Hey yo to the and very welcome to the Starcraft 2 Crazy Replay! Today on Coda Letter Edition, if I'm not mistaken, haven't cast for a long time my replay. And yeah, Legacy of the Void is out, you already might know. And yeah, as you can see, I can't use the SCV Rush overlay, unfortunately. Because reasons, which I don't know. And yeah, let me shortly check the sound settings because they seem a bit random to me. Uh, sorry for that. Just give me a second. Okay. Okay. So with that, you already. Uh, I don't. I hope the problem is that this is a replay recorded with an older version of StarCraft 2 as it said so there we go okay yeah and with that said I can't use the overlay the options are not really mine it's it's really sad but I wanna have those uh, those games casted for a good reason because they are still awesome even though it's Heart of the Swarm but yeah so we have here Spawning in the left top side of Coda Letter Edition, it's the Blue Zerg. He's Grandmaster at that game, Mamba. And he's playing against me, the Red Terran spawning in the right bottom position, Alex Usher. And I really wonder why we don't have any music here. Ah, there we go. Okay, oh god. Options, man, options. So, I hope he says that somehow. Uh, probably not, but we will see. Uh, there are 11 more games, Heart of the Swarm, which I will cast after that. 11 or 10. Uh, don't nail me on that, but should be 11 or 10, so quite some of them. Uh, I think you will see parallel to that Legacy of the Void content. Not too likely it's gonna be uh, me playing ranked or unranked or anything because I still think now that the game is kind of bad. So when you see this video now will be in <laughs> probably eh, quite some while uh, because I'm pre-recording for the future which helps me a lot. Uh, but yeah, maybe then something will have changed for balance reasons. Uh, just currently I, I don't like it at all. Um, but yeah, let's not too, talk, too, talk too much about Legacy of the Void and instead, whoopsie, uh, enjoy that game here. So we have Barracks into Reaper, and then straight the Reactor, so that could be the Helmet opening, yeah, the Helmet push. Mm, but maybe not, we will see. For now it's just the command center on the high ground. And Mamba went for a hatch into pool. Uh, and six circling, so that's quite a lot. He respects my Reaper there. And yeah, Mamba, if you, I don't know if you know Mamba. He's not really a professional player, but he's a guy who was used to post a lot on the SCV uh, at the StarCraft 2 Battle.net forums. Being quite active, quite helpful as well, I think. And yeah, also quite a good player as he is Grandmaster. So, yeah. And as I know, he's not off racing in that game, so that should be a very good one. Yep. So the Overlord pokes in, sees not too much there, just the factory knows what's going on. There's the Overlord. And some circling, some patrol. Command, where's the Reaper? Uh, there it is, okay. Outside the base. Uh, I don't know about that move, no. <laughs> Not a good... Wait a second. Ah, oh, come on, where's the... Where's the... Uh... No, 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 I, I guess it was on... There we go. Unclickable and... Damaged. God, seriously, it's so annoying. If, if the game is screwing up your options, your settings, I, I really hate that. But yeah, I was wondering why 
are no bars shown here, the, the life bars, but yeah, there we go. So here are the Hellions, and the second factory, it's it's really the two factory mass Hellion into Hell. And uh, did he see it? No. Okay, he didn't see it. Uh, Marines are active on the map. Uh, to deny any scouting so far, and yeah, Mamba has no clue. I have to say, uh, playing quite some Legacy of the White, not too much, but some. Heart of the Swarm feels really slow now compared to Legacy of the White. Uh, <laughs> because we are 6 minutes into the game. And <laughs> at that stage, in Legacy, wow, you're mid game already, almost. Which is quite insane. A action everywhere. But yeah. Circling's grabbing the watchtower, one circling going further to check and get roasted there. Nice. Oh, five more circlings. Uh, I don't know, that's not a very smart move here. He wants to go in and scout uh, the supply depot. He might get a... Oh no, supply depot! Oh! Does, does he see? No! Ah! Oh, look how, how close that was. Wow! That master league placement! Woo! Hype! That's really good. That's really, really good. I hope... I really hope I did push the record button for the audio. <laughs> I really hope. Oh uh, goodness. I should make videos more often to be honest. Yeah. You have one spine crawler which is really nice. Uh, four gases and the spire. So two base mutalisk is definitely a counter to the helmet. Oh there he goes in with the overseer. Just at the right time and I'm pushing out. He sees everything. And I'm going for the engineering bay. Knowing that there was no expansion, so it can be either Roaches uh, with Anidas or Mutalis, and it's most likely to be Mutalis because I saw the circling speed. Uh, but you can't be sure. So, mm. cancels, I guess, the Evil Chamber. A second spine, there are the Hellbats. No flying Medivacs here. Oh, and the Banelings, the Banelings. Ooh, the Banelings. No spread here. Ugh, taking so much damage. Oh, good, that's not looking too well here. Uh, the Banes, ah, oh, clear it. It's close. Damage will be dealt here, but how much? Um, so far it's looking quite equal. Uh, he clears it. And worker-wise, yeah. Uh, not too bad for Mamba here, not too bad. At all. And he's getting bailing speed. His upgrades 1-1 one, one are delayed quite a bit due to the fact he has no uh, evil chambers and he moved to list late because he made a lot of circlings, but he's in a great spot I would say. Uh, my third command center is just halfway through. Uh, three fourths way through. He might lose the overseer here. Uh, probably not. And additional barracks are coming, the starboard as well. Uh, yeah. So a lot of Widow <laughs> Widowmite! Uh, to have that many Vidomites is awesome against Roaches. And of course Mutalis as well. Mm, he needs to be careful. He got an Overseer, but he can't snipe them with that few Mutalis. Oh, no, 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 no! He sees it, he knows there is no way in into that base. Not at that entrance. Uh, he sees the spots as well. So, uh, there's a Changeling. Uh, doesn't trigger anything here. Ah, he's setting the circlings one by one. Oh, or maybe three by three. Uh, okay, that's not bad. That's really, really nice. Oh, you need to be careful. Oh, so much damage dealt. Uh, but does just lose? I, I can't see. Uh, this overlay sucks. I can't even watch how many mutalists he lost. I guess three, but I can't be sure. Ooh, tried to focus fire the mutalists, the weakened one, but didn't get it. Uh, base go up behind that. Uh, wall is completed, takes out another widow mine, which is really good for him. And yes, yeah, so far, so good. Mamba is keeping me back. He cleared all the widow mines, which is really expensive for me at that stage of the game. It also takes a lot of production cycles to do that. And uh, he is finally getting 1 1, while I'm getting just plus 1 armor, making me ready to go 1 2. Another barracks gets added here. And yeah, I totally forgot Stim and Comet Shields. Oh god, are you kidding me? Uh, that, that's horrible. Uh, 12 minutes 30 seconds Stim starts. That's, yeah. Oh god. 
Oh no 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 no. That's not good at all. That's really not good. So uh, there are turrets. You should not be able to fight those. Oh goes in, loses. And one, maybe two mutalists. No mutalists at all lost here. Oh wow, lucky one. Health regeneration is strong on that guy. Ah, uh, there is one circling blocking the third, which I should see, but I'm not paying attention. Oh, right. So the drops are getting loaded in. Okay, a lot of marines, 14 I guess, and one little mine. <laughs> but Stim is so far away. The only good thing is that I got plus one attack already. Uh, already. Yeah. Um, compare. Oh, the circling spotted. And my medevac spot the circling run by. Where are his mutilists? Oh, out of the map. Oh. He got some units here, but that's not enough with the unload. No, the banes weren't enough. You have to be mine. It burrows. And it will shoot. Ah, not the hit base, best shot. I could have hit the mineral line there. Unloading more and more units. Mutilists come back to clear it eventually, but I guess the trade was okay. I didn't kill too many worker there. Not a single one, but the trades were okay. Widow mines, uh, widow mine, and some. Uh, there's the medivac. Yeah, the widow mine and the marines for all those banelings was okay, I guess. And some surfings as well. Losing the medivac sucks, of course. Uh, finally, the base is taken and set to. Oh, he loses so many circlings in this assault. Uh, his one one is completed, but mine as well right now, which is. Quite okay, I guess. So I'm still ahead at upgrades. Yeah, there will be a small window, I guess, where his 2 2 is uh, over my 2 1. Uh, but other than that, after that small window, I will be ahead one upgrade again. If I continuously pr get them. So that's that's the main part here. The medevac here. And the mutants. Ooh, they took bit shots here. Oh, wow. The supply is quite even. And uh, the income. As well, uh, yeah, mules of course are awesome, but oh, that drop! Oh no, that drop will get shut down. Uh, <laughs> those poor marines. I'm not a good commander. Uh, getting maybe one drone. No. Oh, six worker kills. But where? Ah, second drop. Baby, widow mines killed a lot of stuff there. Six worker, four circlings, I guess. Oh, that's quite good. He's still on three bases. Okay, there's the fourth one. I don't know how he splits the bailings like that, but it looks awesome. I guess it's just clumping with the circlings and then he selects just the circlings and moves them. That looks so cool. So, creep spread gets killed. His creep spread isn't the best. Uh, there was a drop loading. In. Yeah, there we go. There's that drop. And... There has to be another one somewhere. But for now, the assault begins. 2-1 against 2-2, two, two. no against 1-1. One, one. Uh. Oh, big Widowmine hits there. Oh my goodness, that was a very big hit there. Uh, but it's enough to clear that army. On the other hand though, he's losing a lot of worker down here. And there are Widowmines and Marines. I get this was a double drop? Just the second medivac. Maybe it died, uh, I'm not sure. But killing 27 worker in total, which is massive. So he's down now to 59, which is not what you really want as a Zerg player because he wants to go to Hive and free free soon. But he kind of uh, he could, but he needs to make army. Needs to produce a bigger army because the next assault is coming right now. The drilling claws ready as well. And there's a Thor with plus one armor, plus two armor finishing soon. Uh, he can clear those marines. Ah, oh, baiting into the mutilist, uh, into the Thor. Uh, need to be so careful. Oh my god, big shots! Ooh. And now it's it's going getting very risky. There are the banelings. There they are. Ah, uh, the Thor. Oh, the widow mine. Ah, oh, gets a hit. Oh, he loses so many mutilists there. Look at the supply. That's not really good for him. Uh, not even able to kill the Thor, maybe? No! Ah, oh, okay, I was too eager, too eager to, to micro that. Oh, almost losing another Mutalist to the splash there. And the fourth base has been taken. There's a fifth one for Mamba, but 
Uh, his income is in shambles quite a bit. It's, it's still okay, but at that stage you want to have all the income, like 80 drones, 72 at least, something like that. And yeah, the supply tells the story. The creep spread also not looking too good. There's a small assault, but there's two Wither Mines and a bunker, so should be enough. Oh yeah, that's definitely enough here. Um, yeah, I'm slowly but surely crawling myself forward. Ah, the splits non-existent there. The mutalisks clearing the or shooing the marauder away. There is a small circling counter attack. They get quite some kills, but the supply and the upgrades 3-3 uh, three, three halfway done. And as you know, marines are quite good against circlings. Oh yeah, they are. And against mutalisks as well with the medic support. Mmm, carefully! Ah, no! Don't lose the medevac! Oh, I'm not paying attention. Ooh, that was very close there, but... He's focusing the marines, not the medevac so much. So I can rescue it. Can save it. That was that was a good save, I would say. Uh, not a really good save, but it's okay. Oh, and now he lured me to the debris here. And I will kill it, and it opens up a new path to attack. Uh, Villamine gets baited out, very nice. Mutilis are trying to get something done, but those marines, they are so powerful! Oh no, he's just moving across them! Now he's turning back, oh that's a big mistake! He loses there, how many Vidomines do I have? <laughs> 15! Hype! And with 15 Vidomines, 5 more in production, that is massive! Uh, no splits at all! Oh no! That's, that's not good here. Uh, Mutal is clearing the rest here. Marauder, not in a very good spot. But all those Widow Mines with the Drilling Claws! <laughs> Widow Mines! I know they are said to be a nonsense gamble luck unit, but I just love them. If I have them and I get the good shots. No turrets at all, so... Oh, but there is a Thor here. Uh, he can't really attack the Thor. Uh, oh, into the Marines. The fourth base under assault. Those Widow Mines should burrow. Mm, oh, be careful there, be careful there. It's not looking good, Mamba. The supply. Uh, yep, the mutal is way too inactive, I would say. Oh, uh, the drones getting transferred. Got another base, so it's still doable, but... Oh, there's the Thor with plus two armor. So the mutal is deal just... Uh, eight damage per hit. Which is okay, but not really amazing. And, oh, the mutalists are the only unit he got left to really deal with, with what's coming. But, as you can see, I'm getting the high sec auto tracking and the building armor already now. And, yeah, it's looking quite grim. He tries to kill it, but the turret, he doesn't get it. And he taps out with a GG. Ah. <sighs> Somehow, I don't know why, but that, that, that didn't feel like a Grandmaster versus a Master League player. It didn't feel like a high level play. It, 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 fe it felt for me like... Diamond, maybe? For both players, of course. Not just Mamba, but for me as well. Uh, if, I, if I look at now, if I watch it now, I don't feel like that was a good game. For me. Uh, yeah. But well... Whatever, I won Woo! against a Grandmaster League player, Zerg, which is really nice. Okay, so, uh, 10 more games to cast. Oh, God, so much stress. But I'm doing it for you guys and for me, of course. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, you see us next time. As always, I wish you a very nice day and.